Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Okay, Earth Signs, this is a reading for you. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Um, this is options and love. Um, also, romance if you're wanting romance. Now, if you're not wanting uh, romance in your life, this could, could possibly be friendship or um, family members coming back or such. It's just according. It's according to how you feel it, but we do have the romance part of this as well. Um, I had something funny, you know, they've been throwing out the cards pre, they throw them out as, I, as I'm laying them out, and I had them throw out three for the options in your love life, but I also had them throw out what I was feeling like is an advice card, which they have not been throwing out so far in the other readings, but we're going to start with options in your Love life. So, options for love. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you got hammer, keys on a ring, and palm tree. Hmm. Let's see if we can kind of decipher these. For hammer, sabotage, re rebuilding, integration, receptive, persistent, working on it. So, are you sab sabotaging your own self um, as far as your options are concerned? Um, because, you know, over here we do have um, right here many options with this keys on a ring. So, you know, are you sabotaging something or is maybe someone that is an option for you they're working on something. They're they're rebuilding their life. Maybe you're rebuilding your life. Uh, maybe there's been a lot of uh, sabotage in the past, or maybe you're self-sabotaging yourself, or they're sabotaging themselves. But there's persistence here on working on it. So this is someone, whoever this is, they'll want to work on something with you. And um, then we have keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. So, you have lots of options, many options, but some of them may want just a one night stand. And if you're not wanting that, you really need to use your intuition to try to figure out, you know, you want to make sure that you want the same thing that whoever you're going out with wants. Um, you don't want to be strung along. So you need to look at that because you have many options, but you could have some that want a one night stand or want to string you along. If that's not something you want, really look at it. Um, then you have the palm tree. Stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. So uh, some of the people that are options for you, it feels like, are very flexible. They are uh, very st stable in their life. They may have their themselves all together. You know, they've had these big moments of growth. Um, they may be very secure. Or this is you. And they see you as very secure. And you need to think about that. Uh, someone could have an option that sees you as being, you, as being very stable and secure. And they may not be looking at you in the, the right way way though is what I'm getting. It could be a sabotage with that hammer over there. So it's lots of options here and differences. Okay over here we got what can you learn from the past and we got these two cards. We got photograph and engagement ring. Looking at your photos missing you. Nostalgia. Make new memories. So, what can you learn from the past if you've got photograph? Um, maybe you need to take more, more photos. Maybe you didn't take photos. Or maybe um, this has got to do with um, learning to really make memories. You know, learning to really live in the moment and enjoy your moments. Maybe in the past you didn't really enjoy your moments. Um... You know, this is saying missing you. Um, you know, learn from your past mistakes. Maybe you have held on to people from the past. And that's something that you need to let go of so that you can make new memories. Then we have an engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So, have we had some form of... Um, 
something bad go around being engaged or you know being in a partnership or um, a unity uh, a union with someone around commitment and that's affected you well you need to really put that down uh, so that you can move forward in your own life um, but also you know it may be the way that you're looking at it maybe you're looking at being in a union with a closed mind and maybe you need to look at things differently and this will be different for different people but you know it's learning from the past is learning from past mistakes or learning from things that you've done or things that have happened in your life and it stems around it looks like engagement or the way you look at it you, you know being married or the way you look at it long relationship or the way you look at it uh, photograph the way you look at the past and what has happened maybe you need to see things differently maybe you're seeing things sugar-coated maybe you're seeing things um, not as they truly happen maybe you're seeing things through rose-colored glasses there's a need to look okay but don't stay there and then we've got what should you let go of we got not today and sunglasses so, what should you let go of? Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, still angry. You need to let go of anger. You need to let go of um, grudges. You need to let go of holding on to hostilities. It's only going to hurt you. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perceptions, focusing out. Don't hold on to the past. Don't hold on to people who don't want you. Don't hold on to people who don't make you a priority. If they wanted you, they'd be in your life. Let it go. Okay, advice card here. Hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic. Options. Not showing hand gambling. So, advice is, you know... Take a chance on something, risk it, you know, or being very st strategic and standing back and really looking at your options and looking at things from a different standpoint. Uh, not really showing people what you hold in your hand, not showing people what you feel. Um, it can be a gamble, though, because you could walk away with nothing or you could lose someone that's very special to you. Or you could lose someone that you love. Someone that loves you. So, you know, whenever I did these cards and I thought, well, dang, this, this oddball's come out. Where am I supposed to put it? And that's when it came to me as advice. So, yeah. Romance part of this. We've got codependency. Addictions are, addictions are affecting your romantic life and chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So, codependency can be... Um, addictions it can be also addictions can be you know uh, overeating not doing enough uh, letting someone else take care of you such as that you know you need to look at that on how that is affecting your romantic life but you've got chemistry with someone or some and it's very strong oh excuse me could be a soulmate connection possibly I want to take you one of these. You have got options. <laughs> Sometimes too many options is not a good thing. It can be very confusing. Look at there. Passion. Okay. Passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So you're very seductive at the moment. You're very uh, magnetic. And it's drawing people to you. They're saying enjoy that moment. You know. Um, then we have this one. Let there be closeness between you. But always give the other space. Each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. And this one. Only time will tell. That, that makes a lot of sense right there, honestly. 
So that's what I've got for you. Once you like and love, do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. That helps to grow the channel. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.